you're going to San Francisco, be sure to wear some flowers in your hair. If you're going to San Francisco, you're gonna meet some gentle people there. Those who come to San Francisco, summertime will be a loving there in the streets of San Francisco. Gentle people with flowers in their hair, all across the nation. There's a strange vibration, people in motion, people in motion. There's a whole generation with a new explanation, people in motion, people in motion. For those who come to San Francisco. Summertime will be a loving there in the streets of San Francisco. Gentle people with flowers in their hair. If you come to San Francisco. Summertime will be a loving there. Oh yeah, loving there, loving there.
You have given back the freedom You have lived up to your name Light a candle in the darkness You're the keeper of the flame May the soldiers disappear. Can't get rid of it. It should dump it right in the front of the White House so they'll understand what it's doing to indigenous peoples. And suppose somebody put the decimal point in the wrong place, something might explode in the space, and we'll all be infected. It's destroying the human gene. Whatever it does, we must stop nuclear development in any way. Thank you. Floyd Red Crow Westerman, let's hear it for him. I want to take 10 seconds to let you know that what Floyd was talking about Ending nuclear weapons, abolishing nuclear weapons. Who wants to do that out there? You can do that. Go over to this booth on the right and sign up. Use the internet right here. Today we're going to empower all of you folks to end nuclear weapons. Also, make sure you give that food to the food bank. We're going to feed the hungry and homeless. Right now, I'd like to bring to the stage a person who for many, many years has been leading the indigenous people for their rights, working with the United Nations, working with indigenous people all over the globe to secure human rights, land rights, basic rights for indigenous people. Executive Director Tony Gonzalez of the International Indian Treaty Council. Thank you. Good afternoon, all my relatives. For those of you that remember our great friend, Mr. Bill Wapapa, of this Bay Area, he would say, we're still here, and we're still here! The International Indian Treaty Council, American Indian Movement, we represent the natural world, and we're struggling to free the natural world, and you are all a part of that. I'd like to let you know that 1492, 505 years ago began the American Indian Movement here in the Americas. 505 years. The first world war was waged here in this hemisphere at that time. When the French, the Dutch, the Spanish, the English, the Portuguese all launched their invasions upon the Americas and began the genocide of Indian people. And this is who we represent. We are the memories of our ancestors. 30 years ago, I was preparing to go to Vietnam. I had just graduated from high school in Fresno, out in the San Joaquin Valley, and I was drafted. And I found myself in Vietnam in 68 and 69. And if there's one thing I learned from the Vietnamese, the great heroic Vietnamese people, is that the, law, the struggle is long and it is hard and it is victorious. And that's who we are. We are a committed people because the struggle continues. And we must be dedicated, we must be determined, and we must be victorious to free our sacred mother, the earth. Our mission is still clear. 
We are against the war machine. We must stop the death of people by the industrial complex and this country that leads that. We must tell Bill Clinton that he must sign the landmine treaty. We must tell Bill Clinton that he must sign the global warming treaty. We must tell Bill Clinton and the rest of the people in the United States that they got to get back on track. We must reverse this globalization, this world trade economy that is affecting our lives. And Indian people of the world, we now do have a voice because we are on the agenda of everybody's discussions. And that is because the world is bankrupt. The world has no vision beyond the 21st century where it's heading. And so we must be there. You and I must be there. We have this voice in the international arena, but we are, and we also have victories. We have victories in Guatemala now. We have victory in Nicaragua and El Salvador, but there are still wars being waged in Central and South America under the disguise of the drug war. It's an effort to push our people out. And we have brothers and sisters in, still in prison. The world's largest prison, you know, is here on this land. We have Leonard Peltier in prison, 22 years. Bear Lincoln is free. Patrick Hootie Croy is free. Norma Jean Croy is free. Geronimo Pratt is free. We must free Mumia Jamba. Thank you all my relatives, have a good day, we will be with you until the end of time. If I may make a brief and small correction, Bear Lincoln is out and is free, but they are also trying to now get him on manslaughter charges. Tony Sarah still has a fight with him up in Ukiah, so please be supportive of Bear Lincoln ongoing.